and go. Okay, this is Lee Mallet, and I made a weather vane for Gary and Pam's winery. Uh, I started by making this uh, pattern out of pieces of plywood, cut to the proper shape for each elevation, and then smoothing it all down. So I got a representation of a Fuji apple based on a picture that I took in the grocery store. Uh, to make the apple, I started with a flat sheet of copper. And uh, believe it or not, if you pound on a sheet of copper long enough, you can get it to take almost any shape. But you have to keep annealing it. When you pound on it, it gets hard. Then you anneal it to make it soft. Then you pound on it, it gets hard. So maybe after a hundred cycles of that, I finally got the first half done. Then I had to make the second half the same way. And uh, it's supported by this brass tube. The latter was a lot easier because I just cut the pieces for the rungs, soldered it all together. Um, then the, uh, then the weather vane goes on this stainless steel rod. And then this, is, this arrangement I just purchased, this is not something I made, but these get uh, screwed into the roof to hold it. The key here is to get it perfectly straight up and down. Otherwise, the weather vane may tend to list and not really follow the wind. Probably the highest highest tech item is this little ball bearing and this goes on uh, on top of the rod up inside so that it doesn't have any friction so it'll but this is an interesting little bearing thrust bearing and then we have the directional things oh yeah and, uh, these are also commercial uh, there's a lot of work making these so i just bought them but I got the large side because I knew it was going to be up high. And we got a compass to make sure we get it pointed north, south, east, and west. And that's it. All right. Great.